Hey, it's Thomas, and this is day 42 of 100 Days of Code in IoT Challenge. Today, finally, I'm going to finish up a plant watering system by coding the behavior of the peristaltic pump connected to SPA266 based on the readings from the soil moisture sensor. Let's get started. So here is the code from yesterday that I've got opened in Visual Studio Code. You can see here plant watering system is the name of this project. And uh, let me remind you what is happening in here, right? So what, what we handling in this code is the logic of the moisture sensor, of the soil moisture sensor, right? We've got these uh, three LEDs defined here, right? Connected to different pins. So red one to D5, green one to D6, and blue one to D7. And we have the range of values for the moisture readings, right? The minimum one is 440 and the maximum one is 850. However, that works in a way a bit other way around that we would think about, right? So here, the minimum value is really the maximum moisture. And the maximum value here is the minimum moisture. But I'm going to show you how this is handled with the map function. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, in the setup, we just set up the serial monitor. We've got that for the D1 pin. And there's something I'm, I'm just going to do in a second to improve the re readability. Because D1 is the controlling pin for the peristaltic pump. Something we're going to look at in a few seconds. Um, then we just configure all the LEDs to output. We've got the reset function to switch all the LEDs off. And then inside the loop, in the function that just, you know, happens, just is called continuously. What we do is uh, we read the analog moisture value from the analog read, A0. This is the pin where the, when the analog output of the sensor is connected to. And as you can see here, this is what, I, what I've just mentioned. The map function maps our analog moisture value, which is between 440 and 850. And that's been mapped to a range between 100 and 1, right? So it's, uh, so it's basically um, to give us a percentage of water in the soil, okay? And here we just print it out reset everything, I mean, reset LEDs, okay? And here in this if statement, if, else, if, else, we switch on the diode depending on the moisture value. And that is compared with the optimal minimum and optimal maximum. And optimal minimum and maximum is, is something that we care about today. So um, let me show you. So yeah, at the moment, this is set for 50 and 60, okay? But I'm probably going to change it slightly. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is um, just improve readability as I promised. So for D1, let's define this as a, maybe let's call it a pump pin. Okay, so that's going to be our D1. So now we operate on the pump pin. And that's what I'm going to define in here, right? So this is going to be slightly more readable. Okay, so now we configure all the pins, the controlling pins, right? And we set the pump pin to low as a default one. I don't think it's it's, it's required here, but let's just let's just keep it. Cool, okay. And now um, let's think about the logic because what happens at the moment really is um, we just switch on the diodes. What we would like to do as well is to change the voltage on the pump pin, right? But if you think about pumping the water, it's not something you would like to do it at once for the plant, right? Because there is a risk if you pump too much water at once, the water might not soak into the soil, right? What might not immerse into the soil. And, uh, you know, the container, the, the, the pot 
of the plant will overflow with water and it's gonna spill everywhere, right? So we need to think about this in a smart way. Um, and what, what I think, um, ideally, we would like to spread it over time, okay? Spread it over time. So let's say um, we, we get the moisture value below the optimal minimum. What we wanna do is to run a sequence of operations, right? A sequence of pumping the water, right? So let's let's do, for example, what we could do. Let me give you an example. We pump for five seconds. Then after five seconds, we stop for 10 seconds, right? To let the water soak in to the soil. And then we try again, right? And we try again and we try again until the moisture value goes above the the level that we set, right? The level that we set. And also what I think is a good idea is to let the plant to dry. So um, let me show you what, what do I mean? <clears throat> let me show you what do I mean? Um, I'm gonna set this optimal minimum for maybe for 30 and the maximum, let's set it for 70. Okay, so that's going to be sort of like proportion, 30 to 70. And then um, just uh, let me add a few functions here. So one function I'm going to call, uh, maybe let's say, let's let's call it read moisture or maybe get moisture. So that's, that's going to return an int and get moisture. Okay. And what this is going to do is as simple as that, right? So we will get that. We can print it out as well. I mean the information and we just return a moisture value, right? Um, th this can actually be just a value. Okay, so that's what we return. We also print this out. So yeah, so that's going to give us the moisture. And uh, here we can just do a moisture value equals get moisture, right? So whenever we, we get it, uh, we, we also get this information printed out, right? So, so, so this, 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 like this code, like, you know, is still the same. And now let me introduce another function that's going to be new. And um, let's call it pump just pump, right? So for pumping the water. And uh, what, what, what I would like to do with this is, um, I'm thinking about doing a while statement. And the condition for the while st statement would be, um, we, we want to check if we reach the optimum max level, okay? So when the plant is watered, we would like the level of the of the moisture in the soil to reach the maximum optimum level, right? So let's do something like get moisture is uh, while it's less, right, than the max. Uh, how's this called? Uh, let me check. Optimal max. I, I called it optimal. Optimal max. Right, so as long as it is less than optimal max, max, what we would like to do is um, inside. Is there anything we could do? Oh yeah, there is. Of course, there is. So that would be the moment where we do digital write and pump pin. We're gonna set it to high, right? And then we're going to delay. Like I said, um, let's maybe do. Not sure if five seconds is 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 okay. Uh, yeah, okay, should be okay. Let's let's risk the five seconds. Um, um. However, I would make it a variable here, so uh, we're gonna have something like int, and let's call it a uh, pump time. Right. So we'll have pump time five seconds, and the five seconds here. And after that five seconds, we're just gonna do digital write again and switch the voltage to low, right? 
Yes, okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, so now what's gonna happen is... Um, oh yeah, I would add another delay. And that delay is going to be to let the, the water um, immerse in the soil. And uh, for that, maybe just do three times the pump time. Or maybe two times the pump time. That should be enough at the beginning. Okay, so now what's happening in here, when we pump, we pump as long as we reach the, the moisture level that is higher or equal to optimal max, right? And um, what's gonna just, you know, continue happening while the mo moisture is less than optimal max is we switch on the pump, we wait five seconds, right, the pump time, then we switch off the pump and we wait 10 seconds, right, to let the 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 water soak in the soil. And then it's gonna continue, right? It's gonna switch the uh, sp switch back the pump uh, on and so on and so on until we get get we reach the level we would like to have, okay? And uh, um, this really the pump function is gonna be called just in a single place, which is in here, right? It it only happens if the moisture value reaches the level below the optimal minimum. And then we're gonna pump it to the level of optimal maximum, right? So it's gonna wait. It's gonna let the you know the the plant to to consume all the all the all the water, right? From the from the moisture. Also, the water it's gonna allow to, to for for it to evaporate, right? But yeah, that, that that's essentially what's going to happen. Um, and in here in the loop function, I think there is nothing else to change, right? Because we still want to LED. We want LEDs to um, to, to, to show us the state of the soil and this delay for half of a second um, it's it's actually maybe I increase to one second so we will get so we will get the moisture information every one second right every second plus whenever this happens right nice okay yeah, that, that, that sort of makes sense to me, right? And we, we may, might get stuck if you think about that, right? Because if we run out of water and the pump is not able to, to you know, to water the plant, then this is going to stuck forever, right? It's probably something we would like to avoid or maybe give um, a certain, certain time after which uh, we're just going to stop and maybe just indicate something about it right but at this point i think this is this is sort of enough at this point i'm not really gonna add any more logic uh, maybe except for uh, maybe for the to not break the pump right because if it runs for too long i mean this is still not finished project but what we could do is to define some I variable, variable and we can add something like this so while that is less and I plus plus is less than 20 something like that right so that's gonna prevent the while from going on forever right because when the when the I is is greater than 20 then it's gonna exit the loop so that's something I could do potentially. But yeah, that's going to be changed anyway, because it's not going to happen today, but um, I've got a plan to uh, connect this device to the internet and uh, to control it from, from the cloud. But yeah, for now, this should be it. Let me deploy it now. So yeah, I'm going to go to Platform.io and uh, here, Node MCU v2 environment. I'm going to do upload and monitor and we're going to test it. Right, so I've got everything ready and connected, right? As you can see, I'm not using the real plant, just the pot filled with the sand, right? So we sort of having a, a sandbox in here at the moment. And uh, um, I use the, I, I just put the, the soil moisture sensor inside the sand. You can see the pipe going in there, right? From the, it goes from the peristaltic pump from here. Okay, and I've got the bottle filled with water. So um, the water should be pumped from 
from the bottle to the pot and the moisture in the sand should be increased after um, some time, right? The only thing that is not connected at the moment is the 12 volts power supply, which I'm gonna do right now and we'll see this whole thing in action. Okay, so it started pumping the water. Okay, great. This is working, right? As you have seen, once the moisture increased above 70%, uh, blue LED light switched on and we've got our uh, sand watered, right? There is no plant at the moment, but you know what? Let me fix it. And here we go, the real plant connected to the watering system. And this is it for today. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to publish a library to Platform.io registry. This is required for my rapid prototyping library. Day after tomorrow, I'm gonna start a new project, something else. But don't worry, I'm gonna go back to the plant watering system and add some connectivity, maybe build a nice app that I host on the cloud so we can control the system from the internet and get the status of the plant remotely from any location in the world. So yeah, no worries about that. It's going to happen, but after this next project. If you like my content and you would like to stay up to date with my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Bye.